grain. I do contemporary gospel. I love music. Music gives me joy. It gives me peace. Without music, I don't know how my life would be, but I so much love music. There is nothing too hard for the Lord to do. Sometimes we think our sins are in the way, but God is always after fellowship. Welcome to Life Quiz, and my name is Olumide Akinwu Miyuke. It's my pleasure to be the anchor on today's episode of the program. Today we have bright and wonderful contestants. We have Paul and we have Godfrey. All right, they belong to the faith group. And this is the second contest for Godfrey. And this is the second contest for Paul. Because in faith group, they are just two. And whoever wins or loses this will determine who goes ahead into the next round. When we return, it will be time to do the round one of Life Quiz. Stay with us. My scripture that I love so much is, it's not of him that will it, but God has show it mercy. That scripture has, has kept me going. I love that scripture so much. And the three actors that I so much love is Kim Burrell, and I love Tasha Cobb and Yolanda Adams. So the three actors that I so much love. Eno is very friendly. Eno is a worshiper. Eno loves God dearly and loves his, our family very dearly. The question we're asking you in the studio is how well do you live your Bible? And I'm asking the same question to you out there. How well do you live your Bible? This is the time to search again. We will shoot the very first round, which has five questions, three points for every correct answer. Round one of this contest starts with Godfrey. Godfrey, who was Shem's father in the Bible? Options, A, Lamech, B, Methuselah, C, Noah, D, Enoch. Noah. Noah, Noah is the correct answer, three points. Paul, after Jesus was baptized in the Jordan, he was led by the Spirit into A, Capernaum, B, Samaria, C, Wilderness, D, Mountain. C, Wilderness. Wilderness is correct. Godfrey, according to Matthew 16, 23, Jesus said, get thee behind me, Satan. He was talking to A, the devil, B, James, C, Peter, D, none of the above. Peter. Peter is the correct answer. Paul, then Dash said, silver and gold have I none, but such as I have give I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. A, Stephen. B, Timothy. C, Paul. D, Peter. Paul. Paul. What a wonderful way to miss a question. Mm. Bonus point to you. Peter. Peter is the correct answer. And this is your question proper. Godfrey, who was the first man to die in the Bible? A, Adam. B, Noah. C, Abel. D, none of the above. Abel. Abel is the correct answer. Now your question, Paul. What is the name of the apostle that replaced Judas? 
A, Paul. B, Matthias. C, Judas 2. D, Stephen. Matthias. Matthias is the correct answer. <laughs> Question number four for you, Godfrey. What is the name of the disciple that was stoned to death? A, Matthew. B, Peter. C, Stephen. D, Daniel. Question again, sir. What is the name of the disciple that was stoned to death? A. Matthew. B. Peter. C. Stephen. D. Daniel. Stephen. Stephen is actually correct. Three marks for Godfrey. According to Luke 15, 11 to 25, the name of the prodigal son is A. Titus. B. Timothy. C. Clinton, D, none of the above. None of the above. I can't hear you. None of the above. None of the above. That is actually the correct answer. In that chapter, we are not told the name of the prodigal son. And uh, this is the final question for this round. Who was the grandfather of David? A, Jesse, B, Obed, C, Boaz, and D, none of the above. Jesse. 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 Wait, the grandfather of David. Sorry. Wrong answer. You want to try? None of the above. None of the above. Hmm. I want to tell you that the answer that you gave is not actually one of the above. None of the above. I'm saying the answer is not one of the above. The answer is Obed. And now, this is the last question of this round for you. Paul, who was the last disciple to die? John. I haven't even given you the answers. A, John. B, Peter. C, James. D, none of the above. John. John is actually the correct answer. And that has been a very close and interesting round. Paul scored 12 points and Godfrey scored 13 points. There is still a lot of life in this. Right. When we return after this break, it shall be time for rapid fire. Stay with us. I studied computer science from the University of Calabar, Cross River State. I love um, IT and thank God that I'm into it and it's kind of inter intertwined with music and I intend to take IT and music into greater height. My late father has been an amazing father. Yes, it's no more, but because of him, I'm where I am today. I'm, I give him a kudos. I say thank you, Daddy or being a blessing to me because without you, I don't know how my life would have been, how I would have communicated with people. I just so much say thank you to my father, late Reverend Evans Timothy Udolpo. The three best um, worshiper that I love so much in Nigeria, the first one is I love Dulce, the second one I love Nathaniel Bassi, and then the third one is Sinaj. My musical inspiration is derived from the scripture, from the word of God. Every word of God is detailed and it gives you um, the privilege to put words that will bless human lives.
Okay, this is the time for rapid fire. The second segment, every correct answer you give in this segment gets you two points. And you have 30 seconds within which to answer. And are we together? Are we speaking up? Yes, sir. We're still not speaking up, Paul? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you have to chair in football, is that how you would do it? Oh, very hurry. Very. Oh, very, very hurry. Oh, 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 Manchester. Manchester. Speak up, man. Let's have fun around the word of God. Yes, this is the second segment, and I'm starting with you. Your 30 seconds starts now. How many books are in the Bible? Sixty-two. Sixty-six. What is the shortest book in the Bible? Jude. The answer is third John. Name the demon that Jesus cast out in the region of the Gerasenes. No idea. No idea. The answer is legion. What was Matthew before he followed Jesus? Tax collector. Tax collector is correct. Thank you so much, Paul. Now we turn to Godfrey. Which member of the ruling council came to ask Jesus questions at night? Nicodemus. Nicodemus is correct. How many wives did Solomon have? 700. 700 is correct. Who was, the, Jesus, who was Jesus' birth father? Joseph. Joseph. Birth father. You're wrong. God the Holy Spirit. What popular king visited Solomon? Queen Bash Queen of Sheba. I will score that for you because you had it, you, you were you were going there. And the time is up. 30 seconds up. That has been rapid fire for this episode of Life Quiz. It's been good, but we still have a decider. We have an insert to take, and when we return from the insert, we will be telling you how hard you need to try to obtain the 10 points that's on offer in Faith Guard. Join us. Life quiz is getting interesting, and I've had the pleasure for the past few minutes of working with Godfrey and Paul in the faith group. Who is going to get the faith card? And who they need to restructure or rethink? Choose a question. Money, sex, Choose an area, money, sex, and music. And I'm starting with, I'm starting with you, Godfrey. Money. 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 Hmm. 10% of your increase is called A, offering, B, donation, C, due, D, tithe. Tithe. Tithe is actually correct. Ten points goes to Godfrey. Paul. Money, sex, and music. Money. Money. True or false? God gave the Levites the tenth of all Israel. True or false? God gave the Levites the tenth of all Israel. False. False. I'm sorry, but it's true. It's actually true. That's what God gave the Levites. If you go to Numbers 18, 21 to 24, you'll find it there. 
With that, we've come to the end of the third round, which is the faith card. When we return, we will be telling you the, the cumulative scores for this episode. Please stay with us. We're still on Life Quiz. At the end of the, of the third round, the cumulative score, Paul had 14 points and Godfrey 29. <laughs> so Paul, how did you find this episode? I don't even know what you say. Challenging, right? But has it fired something inside of you to want to know more about the Bible? See, I'm, I'm, see, I'm still learning. Yes, we are all still learning. So don't relent. And Godfrey, how does this place you? Okay, um, this particular episode shook me a little. Um, it was more challenging than the first. Life Quiz is here to stay. Let's make it a date again on Life Quiz. And my name is Olumide Akimomioke. God bless you. <laughs>